Okay, so a bit of a walk away from where I parked my car. Look at what you can find. So just coming through these trees, if I zoom in, can you see what I can see? Uh, not far to walk now. Zoom in here. Can you see this? There you go. Go and um, go and investigate this, shall we? Right, so a little bit of research on this plane, which I'm um, walking up to, and it is allegedly a T-33 USAF trainer plane, um, possibly painted in Soviet colours. Um, I was reading, reading a comment here. Um, Soviet colours for training purposes, so it's a, it's a training plane. Um, and as I say, it's getting very close to it now. So if you do come and investigate this, this ground is, when I say boggy, I mean really, really, really boggy. So you need definite some form of um, waterproof footwear on, and um, that's quite high, so. It's taking my time so I don't go for a burden. Right, this ground is absolutely sodden. It's uh, like a swamp. And so, uh, here we are. Look at this. So, up close. Right, so I'm leaning over. Uh, and a lot of the knobs and dials are actually um, still here. And you can read what a lot of them say on them. Radio call, turn cockpit lights. And some of the wiring is, uh, is actually still in place. Standby compass maybe as much as 10 degrees in error. Wow. Uh, and the whole fuselage, and that's down to the, uh, the back of the plane. Uh, Smash glass. Um, I'm to cut my finger on that. Ooh. Oh. Here we are with this one. Uh, it's really boggy. Um, uh, there we are. Okay, so here is the uh, here's the plane again, looking at it uh, from the other side. So um, as we, um, we've come away from the uh, plane a bit. Um, it's not as boggy, but it's still really, really wet. Um, well, I don't know whether you can see this in the uh, in the picture, but yeah, that's uh, yeah, wow. And it's a uh, it's a bit desolate up here. So excuse my hair's having a bit of a Bit of a bad hair day, but um, yeah, there you are. Look at this. All right, so sort of walking around the side of the plane. Um, there we are, look at that there. Oh. And so the closer you get to it, um, it's just, just completely waterlogged. And there's the... Uh, some Soviet markings that were on it, but um, that's not what the plane was. Here we are. So this is just uh, a bit closer up on one of the wings. Over the tail. And we'll have a walk on the wing in a minute, get a bit closer, see if we can pick up some of the um, some of the writing. Oh, we, ah. no, not easy to read. But, uh, push button to open door, pull handle, cut off. Um, so that you can read any of the writing here. No. On the other side, 
I don't want to fall, I don't want to, if I fall in there, I'm going to end up very soggy. And that's into the uh, front of the cockpit. And some of the actual flaps are still working. Uh, this is the uh, into the innards on here. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Okay, wow. Hey, the wind opening and closing. This must be like really eerie if you were uh, if you just stumbled across this. Um, oh, let's look on the other side. Uh, let's have a zoom in, shall we? See if uh, you can pick up some of these. So fuel pump, light on, fuel pump, fuse tanks, horn cut out, hole switch until the light goes out, fuel pump override, uh, throttle. Da -da -da. Okay. okay. Okay, so back to uh, back to the car to go and back home. Hope you found that interesting. Um, I certainly found it interesting coming out and exploring uh, and finding that. Um, and if you like it, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up. Um, why not subscribe to my channel? That'd be really nice if you wanted to do that. Hit the notification down below, uh, the notification bell even, and you'll get a notification when I upload a video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, if you want to leave any comments, do so below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.